Uh, very proud of the boys, you know, um, obviously disappointed that we've come away with a 1-0 with a defeat. But all in all, we've, we've come here to give 100% and to, and to put on a show and not disgrace ourselves. And, and we've, you know, we've done more than that. Seemed to be a bit of controversy about the goal with the linesman flagging and then the referee running over and the goal being given. Did you manage to? Find yeah, there, out what there that was, was obviously about? some. Yeah, I had a little chat with the referee at half time and he said, you know, obviously the linesman's flagged for an incident. Um, initially offside, then interfering with the goalkeeper. He classed it as not interfering, you know, and he's overruled the linesman. That's fine, you know, at the end of the day, as I just said to another press man, we've allowed a free header in our box. Yes, we've had Harry Archer off the pitch. Yes, it's disrupted us. We're defending with 10 men, but, you know, you have to defend set pieces says not give free chances we did we got punished presumably you must be very pleased though today that with a young side they didn't freeze on the day and they kept going right to the bitter end really yes we we competed for the full 94 minutes i uh, was probably you know a little bit sure that they weren't going to freeze we've got some good characters in the squad we've got some good players in the squad and i thought you know it was an occasion where they'd probably you know embrace it uh, and show their qualities and, and they did that i was going to say what did you learn particularly about the young players today well, I think they've learnt um, to go an extra yard um, and give an extra extra yard within their within their energy levels and their performance, and they've got to keep doing that now. You know how they've come off the pitch today, absolutely shattered, is really how they should come off the pitch week in week out at their own level. You know because I said to them, that's what top pros, they, that's what energy they give week in week out. And although you can't stand up or can't breathe now, that's what I want you to show week in, week out, at, at our level. And if you do, then we're going to have a good season. Were you slightly disappointed, if you're being very critical, that we didn't really uh, force their keeper into a save and we didn't really create any clear-cut chances today? If, you, if, you, if you're looking for a negative, that could be one. But what I would say was that, you know, Swindon showed us the utmost respect. They played their full-strength team. They were, they were full at it. They had, at times they had a little bit of backs to the wall, but they defended, you know, professionally as a Division One club does when they're one up. And it wasn't so much us not getting a good chance. We've got to give them credit that they defended very well. Have you had a chance to speak to their manager, Danny Wilson, yet? Well, I was just having a beer with him at the moment when you disturbed me and brought me on here. So. No, I'm sorry, sorry. <laughs> one final thing, Graham. Can you just clarify things regarding Wilf? Yes, regarding Wilf, what I will say is that um, a director has um, notified me that there's there's something on the unofficial website regarding uh, Wilf, that there's a character on there who knows more than us. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and find out who that character is and get into the explanation and tell me where he is. <laughs> lovely, thanks very okay, much, Graham. Lovely. Enjoy the evening. Thanks very much. Bye -bye. Thank you.